This is the new Range Rover, probably the best car money can buy. It has the interior appointments of a small palace. And though it may have been born on the farm, it's all diamonds and tiaras now. Inside, its heater comes on automatically on cold mornings. It has a television. It is the last word in luxury. But then it's more than a poser's pouch. Under the bonnet, there's a 4.4-litre V8 engine, 262 brake horsepower and 325 pounds-feet of torque. It's the same unit you get in a BMW X5, but unlike the X5, this is a real earth mover. But the best thing about the new Range Rover, from my point of view, is that this towing eye on the back is designed to withstand a five-tonne yank. So, chain attached. No need to worry about four-wheel drive. That's permanent. I think I'll just slide it into um, low range and... Uh... Again, don't try this at home. You haven't got a speed camera at home. You need to go out to find one. They're mostly on deserted roads behind a bush. The only problem with the Range Rover is the sheer size of the thing. I reckon that petrol model will probably cost getting on for £3 a mile to run. So from here to London, 60 miles away, that's 180 quid. It's hard to think of a helicopter that would cost that much, leave alone another car. <laughs>